Hey guys, Silver Praetorian. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we made a lot of progress. We saved a dolphin, we blew on the ship's horns, we ransacked the kitchen in the captain's room and fell into the water, and there's a ladder here. Wow. Okay, so let's keep moving. Actually, since this is not actually instant death, I'm grabbing this mumbo totem. Yeah, it just hurts you and you drown in it, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Okay, so we got that mumbo totem. And. Alright, the entire reason why I came over in the first place, there is a jiggy trapped underneath a box on the ship, and if we hit this crane, we should be able to get to it. Yes, we can. This is probably timed, isn't it? Is it timed? It's timed. Climb up to the top of the crane. Jump. And we need to take a hit, Banjo. And we grab the jiggy, and once we get the jiggy, that stays up until we run out, then it closes again. So that's pretty good progress right there. I know I'm missing at least one room here. I can't jump up here yet, but I know I'm missing like one room. And I really want to find that one room, and that's probably the room right there. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, it is. Alright, so jump in this room and Okay, this looks like it's the crew quarters. Let's see what's all in here. There's a couple of jerks. There is life. Let's take a look around first person view. We got some red feathers there. Red feathers. A jerk. What about over here? Red feathers and... Huh, I wonder what's up there. Oh, I wanted to check the very top bunk. Eh, nothing. Oh, Momo took him. Wow, I did not even know that was there. Kill you. I said Mumbo took him. See, I know there's something around here. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Little, um, shout out more or less to another one of our games, which would be Conker's Bad Fur Day. I believe that's supposed to be Conker's Girlfriend. Um, yeah, that game is... <laughs> that game is very... I have no words to describe it. Anyway, um... Let's see, what else do we have to do? We have to access that crane, so we need to... Actually, let's check out the top of these smokestacks. I think we can climb up there, so let's check that out. We'll run up over here... And yeah, here's a ladder, so we can just climb up to the top of these and check it out. And over here is... Uh, not much on this first level, so let's grab these notes. Notes, notes. And... Hmm, I expected more. I really did. And... Tunnel Jerk tried to get me, and here's some Bumble Dumble. And some more notes. And that puts us up to 85 notes. Nicely done, Banjo. And here's the ladder. And here's a Jiggy. And we are on top of the level. And this is our what Jiggy now? Eighth Jiggy. We have two Jiggies left, and I know where both of them are. So let's get the Jinjo Jiggy first, because that's one of the ones we're missing. Okay, so... Um, Alright, climb onto the TNT, and up to the top of here, and the Grunty Switch is right over there. And it is kind of a pain to jump to this, because that is basically the... F you have to be able to get the most distance out of your jump to make it here. But we hit this, and... It throws a G. Oh, that looks like that's a really easy one to get to. 
Um, right, right, right. We gotta go back over there. So let's jump back over to the crate. And I missed. That just happened. <laughs> that that just happened. Lovely. <laughs> Anyway, we gotta climb, climb back up onto the crate so we can get to that crane. And then we can activate the bridges on both sides. And... I love how the climbing for the rope has the same sound as it is for climbing the metallic ladder. Nice way to recycle sounds. Let's grab these feathers. And... I'm not gonna hit that yet. I'll come back to it. Let's jump down here and pay this toll. And that brings out a jerk. Oh man, I fell. Can I? I guess I can't come up here, that's it. So, I would just climb on up here, and... I think there's probably stuff in each and every one of these little containers, so in this first one we have some notes, and Pipe Jerk, who's guarding a note, and Pipe Jerk guarding a mumbo token, and another note. There's a lot of these Pipe Jerks. Okay, let's grab all these notes. And... Hmm. So overall, this is pretty much all there is to... The Rusty Bucket Bay. Like I said, if it wasn't for that engine room, the rest of the level is not bad at all. It's just, the engine room, you will die a lot, even if you're familiar and good with this game, as I've selflessly demonstrated. Anyway, I think that's it for this room. Yes, it is. Alright then, so now... Is there a ladder on this side? No, there isn't. Um, eggs on the inside there. Here's how we get in there. Alright, since the middle container you actually have to drop in from the top, which is just like this. Okay, so in here is... I hear goblin jerks. And a jinjo. Alright, you guys are getting golden feathered. And I killed him even when I couldn't see him on camera. Okay, so behind this corner is Blue Jinjo. Lovely. Um, the other honeycomb piece might actually be in here, I don't remember. Let's check first person camera in here to make sure if it's not in that corner. Um, I could have sworn the empty honeycomb piece was in this room. Maybe it's on something, so let's climb around and look. Okay, there's the... Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Oh man, I might have to look in first person view. This room is kind of trippy. Or, not trippy, but the camera angle is not fun for it. Oh, here it is. No, those are just golden feathers. Uh, thank you for giving me false hope, you golden feathers. Okay, jump up here, grab a gumble token, and... I am... kind of... I'm pretty sure it's in here. Let's check first person view. Hmm. Golden feather I missed. Nothing. Hmm. Let's grab that gold feather, though. Uh, anything around here, really? Some up stuff? Nope, nothing in that corner. Jump up here. Hmm. I could have sworn it was in here. What about in here? Any camera tricky things? Nope, just walls. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's in here, guys. Now watch me, I've just missed it, and I'm gonna have to backtrack into this room at some point and find the empty honeycomb piece. I'm calling it now. Okay, so if I jump up here, I can jump up to here and climb back out. Now we just have that last container to check. Oh, I said last container, Banjo, not this one again. Uh, silly bear. Okay, so we jump on down here and into the last container. Um... Explosive jerks. And the final notes. 
Yes, I do not care. Okay, I do care if I die, but I don't care if I die, really. So, take out all those explosions and my invulnerability. Okay. He, I, that guy just couldn't stand the sight of seeing all his friends die, so he killed himself. This is why suicide is bad, friends. <laughs> Alright, so we are missing the last empty honeycomb piece. Shocker. Okay, let's jump on over here and. Ooh, a total of eight. This is probably gonna be some weird design. And what does this bridge look like? It's fun. Eh. After the whole engine room, this is nothing though. And we have pipe jerk. And we have pipe jerk. And we have piper jerk. And we have the final ginger and our knife jiggy. Alright, so we have one jiggy left, and it's the boss that this world has. I think I mentioned it had a boss in the first video. I don't remember. A lot of stuff happened in that first video. Most of it death. Hey, jump up here, and let's drop that TNT crate. Mom's away. Alright, let's see what's down that pit now and in the cargo hold of the ship. Long climb. Alright, so let's jump on over here. And... Cannonball! Yep, here he is. Who dares enter Boss Boombox's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw, you'll never get it. So, a bunch of ways to kill this guy. One of my preferred is to fill him with eggs. You will not be able to touch him until he splits apart. And even then, he can't really touch us. Until I run out of eggs. Yeah, he's not really much of a boss. So it is taking a lot of eggs. <laughs> this is kind of amusing, just listening to all his like, screams and everything. And I'm almost out of eggs. I'm out of eggs. Alright, now we do this the fun way. Which is the golden feather through the little mini hands. Alright, and we defeat all of them, and he drops his cheeky. Arg, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it, really. Thank you. Alright, now that we have all of the Jinjos, Jiggies, and notes of this world, there's only one thing left to do. Find that empty honeycomb piece. I swear it's in that container room. Where else would it be? It might be in the anchor. I'll check the anchor room first, because it might be there. Um, where is it? I can't think of it for the life of me. I know it's inside somewhere. I suppose I should check all the rooms. This was the crew quarter, right? Yeah, this was the crew quarter. I checked the crew quarters left and right, though, when I was looking for that picture, so it's not there. That's a jerk. Um, what was in here? Um, I don't remember. What were you? You were... Right, this room. Storage. I don't think it was in here, but I can double check. Um, nice job there, Banjo. Alright, they should all still be dead, I think. I hope. I pray. Actually, let's just look around first person view. No, it's not in here. But there's a gold feather. And gold feathers are awesome. Especially since I used a lot of them to kill that boss. Okay. Where, oh, where is that gold feather?
Or not cold feather, that. You know what I'm looking for. Alright, so I checked the crew chambers. Um, let's see, so there are two more windows I opened up. I think this one was. What was this one? This one wasn't the captain's room, was it? No, no, this wasn't the captain's room. This was. Yeah, this was this. Alright, let's look around. Doesn't look like it's in here. But why are there two windows? Can I go... Can I do anything with this window? No, I can't. Alright, so... It's not in here. I said it wasn't in here, right? Yeah, it's not in here. Okay. It might be in the captain's room. Let's see. Let's go there next. Actually, let's check the... Let's check the kitchen next. I think this was the kitchen. And into the kitchen... And I'm just going to keep recording until I get all this taken care of. It'll be a long one, guys. <laughs> You're used to it. Um, <laughs> nope, not in here. Okay. Not in the kitchen. Gotta jump. See, it's not in the kitchen, it's not in the crew room, it's not in the control room. Let's check the captain's room. Okay, so, knowing my luck. Hmm. Nope. Alright. That would have been a jerk place to put it, but I figured I'd check. So, picture of Rusty Bucket Bay, or the ship, actually. Um, I don't think there's anything in this room, besides what you've already seen. Nope. So, we can be pretty sure it's not on the ship itself. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in this room here with the little container, so... Unless it's directly under the ship. That's another possible place. Jump on up here, and down into this room again. Because I think it's in here. I really do. Um, jump. Not there. Shirts in this room. I know I've checked this room though. I checked this room rather good. Unless. I could just be seeing things. Mm. I don't think it's in this room, guys. I wonder. Oh, we can't. Uh, that's right, I think I know where it is. I think there's one room I haven't checked. Um, yeah, because you have to enter from. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to enter from Snacker's Pool. Uh, that's a jerk. Yeah, because I knew there were two of these shacks here that you can get into, but I didn't think of anything of it. But there is a hole. Underwater, right there, which you can enter from Snacker's cage. Let's see, get in here, and let's see, jump up here, and there's a play pad in this one. Jerk. Jerk. Alright, so we kill him, jump up, fly here, and... Oh, make him switch. Smack him, and hit the switch, and that puts it high above the boat. So let's run back over and get that empty on Echo piece. Okay, that's done. Alright then. 
that was that was a nice way to wrap up this world. Nice and easy for once. Come on, don't don't miss. It's a stationary object. It is a stationary object, Banjo. Thank you. All right, so back underwater now. And into Snacker's Pool once more. And now we just gotta get out of this world. And... Alright, so swim. Or rather, jump out of the water and not let our air drain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where this habit of mine comes from, just doing it to avoid the water. Because there are a lot of ticks that gamers do just for the heck of it, like jumping everywhere they go in platformers or doing a combat role because they think it's faster. Just like Pokemon games, where you, like everyone has their combo to catch a Pokemon. Like mine's A B down. But everyone has it, even if it doesn't work or something. Anyway, we've finished... Yeah, we finished Rusty Bucket Bay, so only thing left to do in this video is to open up the next world. And this is going to be a long video anyway, so might as well. Alright. So, the honeycomb piece just dropped right up here. <laughs> we only have 11 more jiggies in this game. What's over here? Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like there's anything over there. There's nothing over there. That was a complete waste of time. Can I smash this? Yes, I can. Run up here with his... My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash. I save my... I wonder why, Grunty. I wonder why. Anyway, we just raise the water level there, and... Um... Um... Why does it feel like that's used for more than just... Oh, I think I know. There's... Ow. Something in another room we can do with that. So let's jump back up here and get ready to hit that again. Alright, so the water will drain, because I don't think we need that to get over to here. No, you don't. So that's used for something else. Let's find out what. I think that's over in the next room where Rusty Bucket Bay is, so we're going to have to swim over there after I hit it. Yeah, I I'm just padding this video out. I'm aware. I don't care. You guys will watch anyway. It's not like I have to appeal to the masses yet. I hope so anyway. That'd be nice to actually have a, a few people watch this that I don't actually know. Eh, I can dream. Alright, swim through here, and... What's up here? I think we can reach something new now that we've raised... Yes, yes. There's a hallway over here. And what's in here? Cheeto's probably in here. Cheeto is in here. I completely forgot about this. Bear and Bird getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter. Sandcastle floor, treasure trove cove. And this one is gold feathers. And this is... Probably one of the more... I don't know. They're not necessary to beat the game, but I do like having the extra gold feathers. So... Um... Actually, we'll probably enter that with this video. I'm already padding out the length, so what's another thing gonna do? Besides, if I remember correctly, we're gonna end up near the entrance to Treasure Trove Cove anyway. So, let's just go back up and keep moving forward and through that note door I opened. And jump, and... Okay, up here. If I remember right, this hallway is annoying. This hallway is annoying. I'm just gonna gold feather my way through it and kill all the whiplash. I should look up if that's their actual name or not. Alright, so... 
Huh, that looks like it's the entrance to the final world up there. And there's the bowl from Mumbo's Mountain, if you remember him right. Hmm. Wonder where the... What the? Whoa, there's something here. Oh, wow, there's... Huh. I did not know about that. I did not know about that at all. Huh. That was a nice little surprise. Anyway, looks like we can climb up here. Let's avoid the bowl. Let's and climb up on these leaves. Oh, these leaves. And actually, <laughs> we can open this final note door too. Okay, that's not the final note door, but that's one of the last few. So now we just run around here, collect a few red feathers that I'm missing, and... What's over there? It's this way. There's a knife. And there's a switch. Let's hit this. And that... Huh. That throws out the... So we must have been near a puzzle in the past and not been able to activate it. We're gonna have to go find that. Now what's over here? Momo Jungle is over here and... Maybe we can do more with that switch. I don't know. Looks like there's a cave down here as well. What's at the end of this cave? My favorite cauldron is at the end of this cave. This cauldron connects us back towards the entrance, actually. And this is the fastest way to get to the end of the game, and also the fastest way to get to where the puzzle is for the next world. And it also takes us back to Rusty Bucket Bay, so... Not Rusty Bucket Bay, God forbid Rusty Bucket Bay, back to Treasure Trove Cove. Anyway, let's hit that puzzle first. I suppose I can enter the cheat in the next video, guys, because this one's kind of dragging on. Swim through here. And I really need to pace these videos better. Anyway, we fill these in, and there is Click Clock Wood. The biggest by far level in this game. And I'm actually going to be going into this world with a plan. Because it's a pain in my butt to just miss one of the. Uh, yeah, I'm already on my way. I might as well just put the gold feathers in now. But yeah, Click Clock Wood is just a pain. It's, it is huge. It is like four times the size of any other world. So, if you miss, like, a small group of notes, you have to search a lot of world for it. So I'm probably just going to have a plan going in, just knowing how many notes are in each section of the world, and just keeping a tab so I don't have to backtrack horribly. I mean, I've been doing the rest of this game by memory, but that one I would not want to have to do by memory. It's just... It's... It's evil trying to find those last notes if you found, like, 98 of them and you're missing two notes and you have no clue where they are. I'm, of course, speaking from experience. Very lucky, because I was out of games. Alright, so here we are again. Started off the Rusty Bucket Bay set in Treasure Trove Cove, and we shall end it off in Treasure Trove Cove. Alright, so let's run in here and kill the crab again. I think I still have some gold feathers left. Yes, I do. Alright, so... Where's G? Where is G? There's G. Gold feathers. So, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. There's not much left I really have to say on it. It's been a lot of fun, though, even when I died a lot. And I'm probably going to lose track of how to spell this if I keep talking. So I'm going to keep talking. Um, actually, a few bonus things to show it around. I'll probably lose track of what I was saying. Um, I'll probably show those bonus things. You know what, I can show them in this set and just split this video up and have this be like a bonus one uploaded. Uh, T. 
ERS. I lost count. F E A T H E T H H H H. There we go. Now it's ERS. So yeah. Twenty gold feathers is now our maximum, and that's fairly nice. I should have stayed in that room to listen to what Grunty said. Oh man. Anyway, it doesn't look like we can actually do that yet, so I'm gonna end this off right about now, so I will see you guys all next time. This has been Super Victorian with Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Next time we tackle the final world in the game. See you all then.